Today, I want to offer you a perspective, a lens, if you will, through which to see not just the world around you, but also the vast, often uncharted territory within you. Imagine for a moment that you're standing at the edge of a vast ocean. Behind you is everything you've ever known, and in front of you, the waves crash against the shore with relentless energy and possibility. But instead of feeling the thrill of adventure, you're weighed down by invisible chains, chains of doubt, fear, and the whispers of limitations that have been your constant companions for years. Let me ask you something. Have you ever felt like you're meant for something more, but an invisible force seems to hold you back? Perhaps you've dreamed of starting your own business, writing a book, or simply seeking a happier, more fulfilling life. Yet, every time you're on the brink of action, the voice within whispers, you can't do that. This voice, my friends, is the culmination of every doubt, fear, and setback you've ever faced. But what if I told you that today, right here, right now, you could choose to act as if those limitations didn't exist? What if you decided to believe in possibilities rather than constraints? You see, the most significant barrier between you and your dreams is not the world. It's the belief you hold about what's possible for you. History is replete with individuals who face seemingly insurmountable obstacles, yet chose to act as if those obstacles were mere stepping stones. They didn't possess superhuman strength or intelligence. No, what set them apart was their unwavering belief in their potential and their relentless pursuit of their goals. Consider the story of a young man born into poverty who dared to dream of a better life. Every morning, he'd wake up to the reality of his circumstances. No wealth, no resources, and no connections. Yet, every night, he'd go to bed imagining a different future for himself. He chose to act as if his dreams were within reach, dedicating every spare moment to learn, grow, and build the future he envisioned. Today, that young man is a successful entrepreneur, touching the lives of millions. His secret? He acted as if his limitations were illusions, mere shadows cast by fear. Now I'm not suggesting that simply believing you're a world-class athlete will make you one, or that imagining yourself as a great musician will ensure your acceptance into a conservatory. What I'm saying is that the belief in your potential to improve, to learn, and to overcome, is the fuel for the journey ahead. The action you take, driven by this belief, is what will carry you across the oceans of doubt and fear. So, how do we begin to act as if? Start with a single step. Identify one thing that you've been holding back from doing. Maybe it's writing that first page of your book, applying for that job you thought was out of reach, or simply expressing gratitude to someone you love. Whatever it is, take that step as if you truly believe nothing could hold you back. Notice the liberation that comes from acting as if. Each step will build your confidence, and soon you'll find yourself doing things you once thought impossible. Remember, the chains that hold us back are often of our own making. By choosing to act as if they don't exist, we're not denying reality, but rather, we're giving ourselves permission to explore the full extent of our potential. Carry the power of as if with you. Let it be a beacon that guides you through the darkness of doubt and fear. Act as if you can't fail, as if your dreams are within reach as if the world is conspiring to help you succeed. Because, my friends, when you walk through the world with the belief that nothing can stop you, you'll be amazed at how the universe begins to open doors where there were only walls. Every thread in the fabric of our lives is a decision, an action, a belief. Among these threads, there are those that shine brightly, colored with the hues of achievement and fulfillment. Then there are others, less vibrant, woven from the fibers of fear, doubt, and limitation. It's within this intricate weave that our stories unfold. A narrative not predetermined but crafted by our own hands. I want to talk to you today about a concept that is as simple as it is profound. The power of acting as if. As if the barriers you perceive are merely illusions. As if your potential is boundless, awaiting your command to spring into action. This isn't a fairy tale or a flight of fancy. It's a principle grounded in the stories of countless individuals who have chosen to see beyond the visible, to act in defiance of their own doubts. Consider the story of Michael, a young man from a small town whose dreams towered high above the skyline of his reality. Michael's world was one where opportunities were as scarce as rain in a desert. Yet, he harbored aspirations that stretched far beyond the confines of his environment. What separated Michael from his peers wasn't a wealth of resources or an abundance of connections. 
It was his unwavering belief in his potential, and his willingness to act as if his dreams were already within his grasp. Michael began his journey with a simple yet powerful act. He applied for a scholarship at a prestigious university, a goal that many deemed too ambitious for a boy from his background. Every night, he studied by the dim light of a second-hand lamp, acting as if he was already a student of that university. His belief transformed into action, and that action eventually bore the fruit of success. Today his village enjoys clean water, and Thomas is working to expand his project to other communities. His journey was fraught with challenges, but his resilience, his refusal to give up, transformed a dream into reality. Now I'm not suggesting that every dream will come true simply by believing it, but belief is the spark that ignites the flame of action. It's the catalyst that propels us forward, even when the path seems uncertain. So, I ask you, what would you attempt if you knew you could not fail? Would you write that book, start that business, pursue that course? Our lives are often circumscribed not by our actual capabilities, but by our perceived limitations. We erect walls around our potential, convinced that our dreams are too lofty, our abilities too meager. But what if these barriers are merely figments of our imagination? The truth is, the potential within each of us is like a vast ocean, its depths uncharted, its breadth unfathomable. Yet we confine ourselves to the safety of the shore, fearful of the unknown. It's only when we choose to set sail, to act as if the entire ocean is ours to explore, that we truly begin to understand the extent of what we can achieve. Imagine for a moment a world where Thomas Edison accepted the dimness of his times, where the Wright brothers remained earthbound, content with the certainty of the ground beneath their feet. These individuals, and countless others, acted as if the impossible was possible. They embraced their potential, unbound by fear and doubt, and in doing so, they illuminated our world in ways previously unimaginable. Let me share another story, one that reflects the transformative power of belief and visualization. Emily, a young woman with a passion for art, found herself trapped in a job that left her creatively stifled. Despite her talent, she doubted her ability to succeed in the competitive world of art. However, Emily began to visualize herself thriving as an artist, imagining the joy of creating every day, of her works being celebrated. This visualization wasn't passive, it spurred her into action. She started dedicating her evenings to her art, building a portfolio, reaching out to galleries. Today, Emily is a renowned artist. Her work's a testament to the power of belief in shaping one's destiny. So, how can we apply this to our lives? Begin by challenging the negative beliefs that have taken root in your mind. Replace them with positive affirmations that reinforce your worth your capabilities. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, who see the vastness of your potential even when you can't. And visualize, not just the success you desire, but the person you need to become to achieve it. But remember, belief alone isn't enough. It must be coupled with action. Belief is the sail, but action is the wind that propels the ship forward. Together, they can carry you to shores you once thought unreachable. Ask yourself, what beliefs are creating my reality? Are they serving me, or are they holding me back? Cultivate a mindset that embraces possibility, that immediately sees the immense potential within you. Let your beliefs be the architects of a reality that is full of possibility, a life that reflects not just what is, but what could be. Let belief be your compass, guiding you through the storms towards the stars. Remember, the power to shape your reality lies within you. In the garden of your mind, plant seeds of positivity, of possibility, and watch as your world transforms before your very eyes. Belief acts as a thread that starts the weave. However, it is action that colors the fabric, giving it life and form. Let's not mince words here. Belief, as powerful as it is, remains a dormant force until it's paired with action. Action is the bridge between what is imagined in the mind and what is manifested in reality. It's the difference between dreaming of a feast and actually sitting down to eat. The question then becomes, how do we move from belief to action, especially when uncertainty clouds our path? The answer lies in understanding that action, like belief, starts with a single step. It requires courage to take that initial step, particularly when the destination is not fully in view. But remember, the clarity you seek often comes through the act of moving forward, not before it. Let me tell you about Linda. 
Linda had a dream to open her own bakery. She envisioned a quaint little shop where the smell of fresh bread and pastries filled the air, bringing smiles to everyone who visited. Yet for years, Linda's dream remained just that. A dream. She believed in her heart she could do it, but the thought of leaving her stable job, the financial risks, and the unknowns of starting a business kept her stationary. It was only when she took the decisive step of enrolling in a baking and business course that her dream began to crystallize into something tangible. That single action set a cascade of events into motion, leading her to where she is today, the proud owner of a thriving bakery. What Linda's story teaches us is that taking action, even in the face of uncertainty, is crucial. But how do you go about it? How do you move from standing at the edge of your dreams to diving into the waters of realization? Here are some practical steps. Define your goal as clearly as possible. What exactly do you want to achieve? The more specific you are, the more targeted your actions can be. Break down your goal into smaller manageable tasks. Think of these as the individual steps on the ladder leading to your goal. Each step is an action point. Prioritize these tasks. What needs to happen first? What can wait? This helps you focus on what's immediately important, ensuring that you're moving efficiently toward your goal. Set deadlines for these tasks. Deadlines create urgency and compel action. They're your commitment to moving forward step by step. Take the first step, no matter how small. Action begets more action. Momentum builds as you progress, each step empowering the next. Remember, the path to any goal is rarely straight. It zigs and zags with obstacles and challenges along the way. But it's through taking action that we navigate this path, learning, growing, and adapting as we go. Consider that every great achievement began with the decision to act. The Wright brothers didn't just dream of flight. They experimented. They tested. They dared to fly. Their actions transformed the dream of flight into reality, altering the course of history. In your hands, you hold the power to act, to move from the realm of thought into the world of reality. It's through your actions that dreams take flight, aspirations are realized, and the impossible becomes possible. So, I ask you, what action will you take today that brings you one step closer to your dream? Let the answer to that question be your guide, propelling you forward into the world of action where your potential knows no bounds. Each of us plays a unique instrument, contributing to the grand ensemble of human endeavor. But as we play, we sometimes hit a wrong note, face a challenging passage, or even encounter a section that seems beyond our current skill level. These are the obstacles and setbacks on our path to success, not signs that we should put down our instruments and leave the eye. Orchestra, but invitations to grow, to improve, and to persevere. It's essential to pause and reflect on the journey we've embarked upon. Today, we've explored the vast landscapes of our potential, the formidable power of our beliefs, the undeniable necessity of action, the art of overcoming challenges, and the transformative practice of living as if. Each of these elements, woven together, forms the tapestry of a life lived fully, a life that transcends the ordinary and touches the extraordinary. Understanding our potential is the first step on this journey. It's about recognizing that within each of us lies an ocean of possibility, vast and deep. But to navigate these waters, we must first believe in the ship that is ourselves. The power of belief cannot be overstated. It is the wind that fills our sails and propels us forward, even when the waters are choppy and the horizon seems distant. Yet belief alone cannot carry us to our destination. It must be paired with action, the deliberate purposeful steps we take toward our dreams. Action is the oar in our hands, the effort that moves us stroke by stroke toward the shores of our aspirations. And what of the storms we encounter? the challenges and setbacks that seem to rise like towering waves, threatening to overturn us? It is here that resilience becomes our lifeline, our ability to ride the waves, to learn from the tumult, and to emerge stronger, more adept at navigating the seas of life. Living as if is perhaps the most powerful practice of all. It's the decision to act each day as if our dreams are already within reach, as if our goals are already achieved. This mindset shifts the way we approach our daily lives, infusing each moment with purpose, each action with significance. So, where do we go from here? The path forward is clear. It's time to start acting as if nothing can hold us back. From this moment forward, approach each day with the conviction that your dreams are not just possible but inevitable. 
Come to action. Not tomorrow, not next week, but today. Because the truth is, the only thing standing between you and your dreams is the belief that they're possible, and the will to make them happen. Remember this. You have the power to shape your destiny. Your life is a canvas, and you hold the brush. With conviction as your palette and action as your strokes, paint a masterpiece that is uniquely yours. Let the beauty of your dreams, the colors of your talents, and the texture of your resilience be the legacy you leave behind. Remember, the journey to achieving your dreams begins with a single step, a step taken with the courage to act as if. So, take that step, embrace the journey, and let the world marvel at what you can achieve. The road ahead is bright, filled with the light of your potential. Go forth and illuminate the world with your brilliance. Today I am providing you with the key element, the secret sauce if you will, to unlock the vault of success and abundance. It's something so powerful yet often overlooked. The principle of acting as if you are already where you want to be, doing what you want to do, and having what you want to have. Let's delve into a story that beautifully illustrates this concept. Imagine a young man decades ago with nothing but a vision. This individual, let's call him John, found himself at a crossroads with empty pockets but a heart full of dreams. He dreamed of being a successful entrepreneur, a millionaire, even when his reality was far from it. So, what did John do? He didn't wait for the perfect moment. He started acting as if he was already a successful businessman. John dressed the part, polished his shoes, and carried himself with the confidence of a millionaire. He read books on business, attended seminars, and networked with potential mentors, always presenting himself as someone on the verge of great success. And here's the kicker. John hadn't made his first thousand yet, but in his mind, he was already there. You might wonder, how can acting as if make any real difference? Here's the thing. When you embody the mindset, habits, and confidence of where you aspire to be, your actions start to align with that vision. It's like setting the sails of your boat in the direction of your dreams. You're not merely pretending. You're preparing yourself for the reality you want to create. Now let me ask you. What dreams do you hold in your heart? Do you see yourself as capable, deserving, and ready to achieve them? Or are you waiting for a sign, a magical moment that declares you're ready? The truth is, that moment comes when you decide. Take John, our friend from the story for example. He made a pivotal choice. He chose to live in the reality of his dreams before they materialized. This mindset shift opened doors, attracted opportunities, and propelled him toward the success he envisioned. People began to take him seriously, not because of the wealth he had, but because of the conviction and readiness he displayed. So, how can you start acting as if? It begins with how you see yourself. Visualize your success vividly. Dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Educate yourself relentlessly in your chosen field. Speak with confidence about your goals and aspirations. Surround yourself with people who embody success. Remember, acting as if is not about pretending to be something you're not. It's about embracing and stepping into the version of yourself that's capable of achieving your greatest aspirations. Align your thoughts, actions, and energy with your highest potential. Start acting as if. Let your actions reflect your highest intentions. Let your daily habits be the evidence of your dreams. And watch as the universe begins to conspire to turn your dreams into your reality. You have the power within you to change your life. It starts with believing in your vision so strongly that you live it, breathe it, and act on it every single day. Your future is waiting for you to take the first step. Will you take it? The cornerstone of any great achievement isn't found in physical resources or even in the sharpness of one's intellect. It's nestled deep within the realm of belief. Yes, belief. A simple yet profound conviction in one's abilities and vision. This powerful element is the engine behind every story of triumph. Every tale of transformation from obscurity to greatness. Consider the journey of a young woman, Sarah, who embarked on her entrepreneurial path with nothing but a fervent belief in her groundbreaking idea. Sarah's beginnings were humble, her resources limited, and her support system almost non-existent. Yet she possessed an unshakable belief in her vision and in her capability to bring it to fruition. It was this belief that propelled her to take bold steps, to reach out to potential investors even when rejection was a common occurrence, 
and to tirelessly refine her product. Today, Sarah stands at the helm of a multi-million dollar company. Her belief turned into a tangible reality that not only serves her, but also contributes to the world at large. Belief acts as the lens through which we view our capabilities and our potential to affect change. It shapes our thoughts, which in turn shape our actions. When we believe deeply in our worth and our vision, we emit a certain energy, a magnetic force that attracts the people, resources and opportunities necessary to turn our dreams into reality. But how do we cultivate this indispensable belief, especially in the face of adversity, or when our current reality seems to starkly contradict our aspirations? Firstly, it's imperative to consciously feed your mind with positive affirmations. Just as a garden requires regular tending to flourish, so too does your mind require a steady diet of uplifting and affirming thoughts. Start each day by affirming your worth, your capabilities, and your unwavering commitment to your vision. I am capable. I am resilient. I am on my path to achieving greatness. Secondly, visualization plays a crucial role in nurturing belief. Spend time each day visualizing your success in vivid detail. See yourself achieving your goals, experiencing the joy, the pride, and the fulfillment that comes with it. This mental rehearsal primes your subconscious to recognize and seize the opportunities that align with your vision. Surround yourself with stories of individuals who have traversed the path from nothing to something purely on the strength of their belief. These stories serve as powerful reminders that your current circumstances do not define your future potential. They remind you that belief, coupled with action, is a formidable force capable of surmounting even the most insurmountable obstacles. Cultivate an environment that reinforces your belief. Surround yourself with individuals who not only share your vision, but also embody the qualities and achievements you aspire to. Their journey and success serve as a constant source of motivation and affirmation of the possibilities that belief and action can unlock. However, it's also crucial to understand that belief is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. It requires nurturing, especially during times of doubt or failure. In such moments, remind yourself of your why, the core reason behind your pursuit. This why is the anchor that keeps your belief steadfast. One technique stands out not just for its simplicity, but for its profound impact on those who master it. Visualization. Imagine for a moment harnessing the power of your mind to paint vivid pictures of your success. So real and tangible that your subconscious begins to work tirelessly toward making those images a reality. This isn't mere daydreaming. It's an active, deliberate process that has propelled countless individuals from the realms of mediocrity to the pinnacles of success. Consider the story of Michael, a young entrepreneur whose beginnings were anything but auspicious. Michael's business ventures were initially fraught with failures. Yet, every night, Michael would close his eyes and envision himself leading a successful enterprise, speaking at major industry conferences, and being featured in top business publications. This daily ritual of visualization wasn't escapism. It was the fuel that kept his ambition alive, driving him to persevere through setbacks until his visions became his reality. Why is visualization so powerful? It taps into the creative potential of the subconscious mind, programming it with the outcomes we desire. When we visualize, we generate powerful feelings of success, confidence and belief that permeate our actions, steering us towards our goals. It's as though we're rehearsing our success, making it familiar and attainable to our psyche. Now let me guide you through a visualization exercise. I invite you to close your eyes, take a deep breath, and relax. Imagine yourself five years from now, having achieved your most ambitious goal. You are a millionaire, a beacon of success, and an inspiration to many. Picture the life you're living, the freedom, the joy, the sense of fulfillment. See the people around you, the places you visit, the experiences you enjoy. Feel the pride, the gratitude, the exhilaration of having made your dreams come true. Hold on to this image, let it fill you with hope and excitement. Now gently open your eyes. How do you feel? This is the power of visualization. There's a tale of an athlete named Emma who used visualization to clinch an Olympic gold medal. Every day without fail, Emma would visualize her race. From the sound of the starting pistol, to the feel of the water against her skin, and crossing the finish line ahead of the competition. She visualized not just the actions but the emotions, the surge of adrenaline, the determination, the overwhelming joy at victory. 
Emma's story is a testament to how visualization can be a game changer, not just in business, but in any field of endeavor. So, how can you incorporate visualization into your daily routine? Start by setting aside a few minutes each day, preferably in the morning or before bed when your mind is calm and receptive. Focus on a specific goal and create a detailed mental image of your success. Engage all your senses. See it, feel it, hear it, even smell and taste it if you can. The more vivid and detailed your visualization, the more powerful its impact on your subconscious mind. Remember, visualization is not a one-time task, but a continuous practice. It's like planting a garden. You must tend to it regularly for it to flourish. Combine this practice with action. For visualization without action is like a car without fuel. You'll be amazed at how quickly you begin to see results. We often look up to those who have achieved what we dream of. Millionaires with their tales of transformation and triumph serve as beacons of possibility. But have you ever paused to ponder what sets them apart? It's not merely the wealth they've amassed, but the habits they've cultivated along the way. Today, delve into these habits not as distant concepts, but as actionable steps you can incorporate into your life starting now. One hallmark of many successful individuals is the habit of rising early. It's said that the early bird catches the worm, and in the context of millionaires, this couldn't be truer. Consider the story of Anna, who transformed her small bakery into a national chain. Anna's day would start before dawn. This quiet time allowed her to plan her day, focus on her goals, and work undisturbed. The lesson here is profound yet simple. Starting your day early gives you a head start. It's not just about waking up. It's about what you do with that time. Make it productive, focused, and aligned with your goals. Then there's the habit of continuous learning. In a rapidly changing world, staying updated with the latest knowledge in your field can be the difference between leading the pack and trailing behind. James, a tech entrepreneur, attributed his success to his insatiable appetite for learning. He would read extensively, attend workshops, and take online courses even after his business had taken off. James knew that to stay ahead, he needed to keep learning. So how can you emulate this? Dedicate at least an hour each day to learning something new related to your field. Let curiosity be your compass, and don't shy away from topics that challenge you. Networking, the art of building relationships, is another key habit. It's not just about collecting business cards, but about genuinely connecting with others, sharing ideas, and finding ways to help each other grow. Sarah, once a struggling artist, leveraged her network to get her art in front of the right people, catapulting her to success. Networking can feel daunting, but start small. Attend industry events, engage in online forums related to your field, and don't forget the power of sincere follow-up. Remember, the goal is to build lasting relationships, not just acquaintances. But how do you bring these habits into your life? It starts with intentionality. Choose one habit you're most drawn to and focus on integrating it into your daily routine. If it's rising early, begin by setting your alarm a bit earlier each day until you reach your desired wake-up time. For continuous learning, identify books, courses, or podcasts that intrigue you and carve out time each day to dive into them. As for networking, set a goal to connect with one new person each week, be it virtually or in person. Transformation doesn't happen overnight. It's the small, consistent steps that lead to significant changes. Anna's bakery didn't become a national chain in a day. James didn't build his tech empire by attending a single workshop. Sarah didn't gain recognition without countless interactions. Each of them had days of doubt, but they persisted, driven by their habits and the belief in their potential. That's why I ask you, what habits will you start to cultivate today? Will you be the early riser? using the quiet of dawn to set your intentions for the day? Will you become a lifelong learner, constantly expanding your knowledge and skills? Or will you master the art of networking, opening doors to new opportunities and connections? There's one undeniable truth that stands as the cornerstone of all achievement. Action is paramount. It's not the dreams we dream, but the steps we take toward them that transform our desires into reality. The difference between a dreamer and a doer lies in one simple act. Taking action. Yet, it's the very step that many find the most daunting. Today, explore how to bridge that gap. Moving from the realm of wishful thinking into the dynamic world of action. Consider the story of Clara, 
a woman with a modest background and a dream to start her own clothing line. Clara's journey wasn't fueled by luck or chance encounters with influential people. Instead, it was her relentless pursuit, her decision to take action every single day, that carved her path to success. Clara started with what she had, a single sewing machine, a pile of fabric, and a heart full of hope. Each piece of clothing she created was a step toward her dream. It wasn't easy. There were days of doubt, financial strain, and countless rejections. Yet she persevered. Understanding that action, even in the smallest form, is powerful. Now, what stops many of us from taking that crucial step? Do formidable obstacles stand in our way? Procrastination and fear. Procrastination, the thief of time, often masquerades as perfectionism. We wait for the perfect moment, the perfect conditions before we act. But here's the truth. Perfection is an illusion. Action is about progress, not perfection. To combat procrastination, start with the two-minute rule. If something takes less than two minutes, do it immediately. This simple strategy can dramatically reduce the pileup of tasks and make the act of starting less intimidating. Fear, on the other hand, is a more complex adversary. Fear of failure, of judgment, or even of success itself can paralyze us. Overcoming fear starts with acceptance. Accept that fear is a natural part of the journey. Then reframe your perspective. View each attempt not as a potential failure, but as a step toward learning and growth. Remember, the only real failure is the failure to try. Draw inspiration from Eric, whose dream was to build a technology company. Eric's path was fraught with challenges, each decision laced with uncertainty. Yet he understood that action was the antidote to fear. With every pitch to potential investors, every prototype developed, and every feedback session, Eric moved closer to his goal. His actions, driven by a blend of courage and calculated risk, eventually led to the creation of a company that revolutionized its industry. So, how can you incorporate this essence of taking action into your life? Begin by setting clear, achievable goals. Break down these goals into smaller tasks and tackle them one at a time. Celebrate each accomplishment, no matter how small, as a victory. This builds momentum and reinforces the habit of action. Surround yourself with individuals who embody the action-oriented mindset you aspire to. Their journeys, filled with ups and downs, will serve as a reminder that action is the bridge between what is and what could be. Cultivate a mindset of resilience. Understand that setbacks are not stop signs but detours toward your destination. Each action you take, despite the fear and doubt, is a declaration of your commitment to your dreams. Particularly the dream of building wealth. One element stands out with remarkable significance. Relationships. The foundation of any significant accomplishment lies not just in the hard work and intelligence of the individual, but also in the strength of the connections they build along the way. It's through networking, mentorship, and collaboration that many have catapulted themselves from obscurity into the realms of success and prosperity. Consider for a moment the story of Lucas, a young entrepreneur with a vision to revolutionize the way we use technology in our daily lives. Lucas's journey began not with a groundbreaking invention or a hefty bank loan, but with a conversation at a local networking event. It was this conversation that led him to meet his future mentor, someone who not only guided him through the intricacies of the tech industry, but also introduced him to a network of individuals who shared his passion and vision. This network became the bedrock of Lucas's success, providing him with resources, advice, and most importantly, the encouragement to persevere. So, how can you too, build and leverage relationships to propel yourself toward success? The first step is to recognize the value of networking. Understand that every person you meet has something valuable to offer, whether it's knowledge, experience, or connections. Approach networking with the mindset of learning and sharing rather than taking. Attend industry events, join online forums, and don't hesitate to reach out to individuals whose work you admire. Remember, the goal is to build genuine connections, not just a list of contacts. Mentorship is another crucial aspect of building wealth through relationships. A mentor is someone who has traveled the path you're on and can offer guidance, advice, and support. Finding a mentor starts with being clear about what you're looking for, what skills you want to develop, what goals you're aiming to achieve, and what kind of guidance you need. 
Once you have this clarity, seek out individuals who align with your aspirations. Don't be afraid to ask for mentorship, but also be prepared to show what you bring to the table. A mentor-mentee relationship is a two-way street based on mutual respect and learning. Collaboration, too, plays a pivotal role in building wealth. The most successful ventures often arise from collaborative efforts where diverse skills, perspectives, and resources come together to create something greater than the sum of its parts. Look for opportunities to collaborate with others, whether it's on a project, a business venture, or even a community initiative. Collaboration not only expands your network, but also enhances your skills and opens up new avenues for growth. Now, talking about connecting with influential individuals, it may seem daunting, but remember that at the end of the day, influential people are just that. People. Approach them with genuine interest, respect for their work, and a clear idea of what you hope to learn from them. Prepare yourself by researching their work, understanding their challenges, and identifying how you can add value to their endeavors. When reaching out, be concise, courteous, and specific about why you're seeking their advice or mentorship. Let me share another inspiring story, that of Maria, a young artist who leveraged her relationships to turn her passion into a thriving business. Maria understood the power of showcasing her work not just in galleries, but in community spaces, local businesses, and online platforms. It was her ability to connect with people, to share her story and vision, that attracted patrons, collaborators, and sponsors. Maria's journey underscores the importance of visibility and engagement in building a network that supports and amplifies your success, especially on the path to achieving monumental success. Setbacks are not just probable, they are inevitable. It's a truth as old as time itself that no great feat was ever accomplished without overcoming substantial hurdles. But what separates those who eventually stand on the podium of success from those who don't isn't just talent or opportunity. It's resilience, the ability to face failure head on, to learn from it, and to forge ahead with even greater determination that defines true champions. Take a moment to reflect on the story of Thomas, a name I've given to represent the countless resilient spirits we've seen throughout history. Thomas had a vision, a dream to innovate in the realm of technology. His journey was fraught with challenges. He faced financial ruin, skepticism from peers, and countless rejected proposals. Yet Thomas viewed each setback not as a sign to give up, but as a stepping stone and invaluable lesson paving the way to his ultimate goal. It was his resilience, his unwavering faith in his dream, and his ability to learn from every failure that eventually led to his groundbreaking invention changing the course of technology as we knew it. So, how does one develop such resilience? How do you train yourself to view failure through the lens of growth and opportunity rather than defeat? It's crucial to adopt a mindset of learning. Every setback, every obstacle carries with it a lesson. The key is to look for that lesson. Ask yourself, what can this experience teach me? How can I use this knowledge to better navigate future challenges? This approach not only softens the blow of failure, but also turns it into a tool for future success. Cultivate an environment of support. Surround yourself with individuals who not only believe in your vision, but also bolster your spirit when the going gets tough. There's immense strength to be found in a community of like-minded individuals who lift each other up during times of hardship. Draw inspiration from Sarah, a woman whose dream was to bring clean water to underserved communities across the globe. Sarah faced bureaucratic red tape, funding shortages, and on-the-ground logistical nightmares, yet she persevered, driven by the knowledge that her mission could change lives. Sarah's resilience was fueled by the support of her team, her mentors, and the very community she aimed to serve. Together, they overcame each hurdle, bringing her vision to life one well at a time. Another critical aspect of developing resilience is to practice self-compassion. Understand that setbacks are not reflections of your worth or capability. Be kind to yourself during times of failure, just as you would be to a friend in a similar situation. This practice of self-compassion not only aids in emotional recovery, but also prepares you to face future challenges with a stronger, more compassionate heart. Maintain a clear vision of your end goal. Remind yourself why you started on this path in the first place. This vision will serve as your North Star, guiding you through the darkest nights and stormy seas. When you're clear on your why, the odds begin to materialize step by step. Consider the tale of Michael, a young athlete with dreams of Olympic gold. 
Michael's journey was beset with injuries, doubts, and critical failures at key competitions. Yet his eyes remained fixed on his goal. With each setback, Michael adjusted his training, sought new strategies, and leaned heavily on his support system. His resilience and determination paid off when he finally stood on the Olympic podium, not just as a medalist, but as a testament to the power of perseverance. Accept the inevitability of failures on your journey to success. Build resilience by learning from failures, getting help, practicing self-compassion, and keeping your vision clear and close to your heart. Remember, the road to success is full of obstacles, but it is your resilience that will carve a path through them. Resilience isn't just about bouncing back. It's about moving forward with greater wisdom, strength, and determination. It's about turning failures into setups for big successes. Your dreams are valid, your goals are attainable, and you have the resilience to overcome and succeed regardless of obstacles. Take a moment to reflect on the essence of the millionaire mindset. It's a mindset that sees beyond the present, imagines the future with clarity, and takes bold steps towards making that future a reality. This mindset is not reserved for a select few. It's accessible to each one of us, regardless of our starting point. The key is to start acting as if, to live, breathe, and act in alignment with the vision of success we hold dear. We've delved into stories of resilience, action, and the power of relationships, each narrative reinforcing the message that the path to success is paved with more than just dreams. It's constructed with the bricks of action, the mortar of perseverance, and the framework of strategic relationships. From Clara's early morning endeavors to Lucas's networking triumphs, and from Sarah's unyielding determination to Michael's resilience, each story serves as a beacon, illuminating the path towards embodying the millionaire mindset. Don't just look at these stories as success stories of others, but as mirrors of your own potential. Each of you has the power to turn your dreams into reality. It starts with adopting the mindset of acting as if. Dress for the job you want, not what you have. Speak with the confidence of success, even if your voice already shakes. Take steps towards your goals every day, no matter how small. Realizing that every step forward is a step toward realizing your dreams. But what does it mean truly to embody the millionaire mindset? It means waking up each day with purpose and passion. It means setting your sights not just on the accumulation of wealth, but on the realization of your fullest potential. It means cultivating an unshakable belief in yourself and your capabilities. It means surrounding yourself with individuals who not only share your vision but elevate it. And most importantly, it means persisting in the face of adversity. Knowing that every setback is but a setup for a greater comeback. Take concrete steps towards your goals. Start a process today that aligns with your vision of success. It might be reaching out to a potential mentor, enrolling in a course to hone your skills, or simply devoting an hour to improving your vision. Remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Let the stories of those who've walked this path before you serve not as distant tales, but as sparks igniting the fire of ambition within you. Believe in the possibility of your success, for in that belief lies the seed of your reality. Let the essence of the millionaire mindset, the belief in oneself, the power of action, the strength of resilience, and the value of relationships, guide you towards a future brimming with success. Start your journey today. Not tomorrow, not next week, but today. The future belongs to those who prepare for it now. Embrace the millionaire mindset. Work as if. And watch the world open its doors to the brilliance and potential within you. The path to success is uniquely yours. But remember, you don't walk it alone. Together, let's move towards a future where our dreams are not just nightmares but realities that brighten our days. Today, I want to offer you a key. A key to a reality where the word impossible doesn't exist. This key isn't physical. It's an idea. A mindset. It's the belief that with the right mindset, discipline and action, nothing is beyond your reach. Let me share a story with you. One about a person much like someone here today. This individual faced a challenge that many considered insurmountable. At a point in life where the odds seemed stacked against them, every turn appeared to lead to a dead end. Instead of succumbing to defeat, they saw these obstacles as stepping stones. Each step forward was a lesson learned each failure a moment of growth. Through sheer determination, discipline, and a shift in mindset, they turned their once impossible dreams into reality. This person isn't a superhero or a character from a fairy tale, they're real. And their story is a testament to the power of belief and action. 
Now let me ask you a question. Have you ever faced a moment where something felt impossible? Have you ever looked at your dreams and thought they were out of reach? If your answer is yes, you're not alone. We've all been there. But the difference between those who overcome the impossible and those who remain stuck isn't innate talent or luck. It's mindset. It's the unwavering belief that nothing is truly out of reach if we're willing to put in the work. Our focus won't be on the grandeur of the end goal, but on the small disciplined steps we can take towards it. The impossible is only so until it's done. And to do it, we must start with the belief that we can. Think about your own perceived limitations. Are they truly barriers, or have we simply not found the right key to unlock them? Find your key and open the door to a world where nothing is impossible. At the heart of every great achievement lies a powerful force, not seen by the eye but felt by the heart. This force is the mindset of possibility. It's the bedrock upon which all great endeavors are built, the starting line where the race towards the impossible begins. Every person who has achieved something significant started with a simple belief, the belief in the possibility of their dreams. Consider the story of a young inventor faced with ridicule and disbelief at every turn. His idea was simple yet revolutionary, to create a device that could transmit sound over distances. Time and time again, he was told it was impossible, a fool's errand. Yet, his belief in the possibility of his invention never wavered. That young inventor was Alexander Graham Bell, and his invention was the telephone. Bell's mindset transformed the world because he saw possibility, where others saw impossibility. But how do we cultivate such a mindset? How do we train our minds to see opportunity where others see obstacles? The first step is to understand that our thoughts shape our reality. Begin each day with a positive affirmation. Look yourself in the mirror and say, Today, I am capable of achieving greatness. It may seem simple, but this act of self-affirmation sets the tone for your day, for your mind to operate from a place of possibility. Visualization is another powerful tool in your arsenal. Picture yourself achieving your goals, not as a distant dream, but as a near certainty. Visualize the steps you need to take, the obstacles you might face, and see yourself overcoming them. This exercise not only prepares you for the journey ahead, but reinforces the belief that your goals are achievable. Learn from those who have walked this path before us. Role models serve as living proof that the impossible can be made possible. Study their lives, their failures, and their successes. Understand that they too faced moments of doubt and despair, but their belief in the possibility of their dreams propelled them forward. Let their stories inspire you. Let their journeys remind you that no dream is too big, no goal too unreachable. But perhaps the most important advice I can offer is this. Embrace a growth mindset. Understand that failure is not a reflection of your worth, but a stepping stone on the path to success. When faced with a setback, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? This mindset shift, from seeing failure as an end to viewing it as a part of the learning process, is fundamental in achieving what seems impossible. Remember that the mindset of possibility is not a gift bestowed upon a lucky few. It is a choice, a commitment to see the world not as it is, but as it could be. It's the decision to focus on, how can I, rather than, I can't. So, I challenge you today to adopt this mindset. Begin with small steps. Affirm your potential. Visualize your success, learn from those who inspire you, and embrace every failure as a lesson. Make the impossible possible, not by waiting for the world to change but by changing how we see the world. With a mindset of possibility, there are no limits to what we can achieve. The only question that remains is, what will you choose to see, possibility or impossibility? The choice, my friends, is entirely yours. Discipline stands as your unwavering ally. It's the bridge between setting goals and reaching them. The structured path through which dreams are navigated into reality. Imagine discipline not as a chain that binds you, but as the sails that propel your ship forward, even against the most challenging winds. Let me tell you a story that encapsulates the essence of discipline. There was once a young artist who aspired to create a masterpiece that would be remembered for ages. Yet, he struggled, caught in a web of inconsistent effort and fleeting inspiration. It was only when he embraced discipline, setting aside time each day to hone his craft regardless of his mood or muse, that his vision slowly started to materialize. This masterpiece, which began as a series of disciplined daily efforts, 
eventually became one of the most celebrated paintings in history. The artist was none other than Michelangelo, and the masterpiece was the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo's discipline and action transformed the impossible canvas into a timeless piece of art. So, how can we apply this discipline to our goals? The first step is goal setting, a process that should be approached with both ambition and realism. Begin by identifying a goal that ignites your passion, a goal so compelling that it draws you towards it. But remember, the goal itself is just the destination. Discipline is the journey. Once your goal is set, planning becomes crucial. Break down your grand goal into smaller manageable tasks. These tasks are your stepping stones. Just as Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel one brushstroke at a time, approach your goal one step at a time. Each completed task is a small victory, a moment of progress on your larger journey. Create a routine. Establish a daily routine that allocates specific times for working towards your goal. Let these times be sacred, reserved for nothing but progress. To measure your progress, keep a journal or a chart that tracks your advancements. Visual progress is a powerful motivator, reminding you that the path you're on is leading somewhere significant. Understand that discipline is not about rigidity. If a particular approach isn't working, be disciplined enough to adjust your plan. Flexibility within the framework of discipline ensures that you are always moving forward, even if the path shifts. Seek accountability. Share your goals with someone you trust. Accountability can significantly enhance your discipline. Knowing someone else is cheering for you or even relying on you can be the push you need on the days when discipline wanes. Reward yourself. Set milestones within your goal and reward yourself upon reaching them. These rewards are not just celebrations of progress, but also reminders of your discipline and dedication. Remember, it's not about never faltering, but about how many times you're willing to stand up again. It's about the quiet moments when you choose to keep going, even when no one else is watching. Let discipline be your hero. Let it be the force that drives you through storms and still waters alike. With unwavering discipline, goal setting, planning, execution, you will find that what once seemed impossible becomes not only possible, but inevitable. What step can you take today, however small, that will move you closer to your goal? Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, taken with intention and discipline, each chapter filled with attempts and endeavors. There's a common antagonist that we all face, failure. But what if I told you that this adversary isn't as fearsome as it appears? What if failure in its essence is merely a guidepost directing us toward success? Consider the story of a young cartoonist. His dreams were filled with creating worlds of wonder and joy, yet he faced rejection after rejection. Each rejection was a stark message that his creations weren't good enough. This man, Walt Disney, was once fired from a newspaper for lacking imagination and having no good idea. Imagine, the creator of Mickey Mouse and Disneyland seen as lacking imagination. But Disney didn't let failure define him. Instead, he learned from each setback, refined his vision, and pursued his passion with even greater determination. Today, his legacy is a testament to the fact that failure is not the end, but a part of the journey to greatness. How do we learn from failure? How do we turn our setbacks into springboards for success? First, it's crucial to detach failure from our self-worth. A setback, a project gone awry, or a missed opportunity does not diminish our value or capabilities. It's a moment, not a lifetime. Understanding this helps us view failure as a lesson rather than a sentence. Next, approach each failure with a curious mind. Ask yourself, what can this teach me? Instead of wallowing in the what-ifs, focus on the what-now. Every great invention, every breakthrough comes from a process of trial and error, a series of adjustments and learnings. Thomas Edison famously said, I have not failed, I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. His relentless curiosity and refusal to see failure as defeat led to inventions that changed the world. Share your experiences with others. Often we hide our failures, viewing them as personal flaws that must be concealed. However, sharing our setbacks can not only help others learn, but also provide us with perspectives we might not have considered. It builds resilience and a sense of community, reminding us that we're not alone in our struggles. Remember to also set aside time for reflection after facing a setback. Instead of rushing into the next endeavor, pause, reflect on what happened, 
why it happened, and how you can adjust your approach moving forward. This reflection turns failure into a powerful tool for growth. Embrace failure as part of the process. The road to achieving the impossible is paved with trials and errors. Each step forward may come with two steps back, but it's these steps back that allow us to leap further ahead than we thought possible. So, as we navigate through our endeavors, let's redefine our relationship with failure. Let's see it not as a shadow looming over our ambitions, but as a beacon guiding us towards a brighter, more successful future. With each failure, we grow stronger, wiser, and more resilient. And it's with this strength, wisdom, and resilience that we turn the impossible into the possible. In the mosaic of human achievement, each tile represents moments of triumph, innovation, and breakthroughs. But the grout holding these tiles together, often unseen yet indispensable, is persistence. Persistence is the silent force that turns setbacks into successes and dreams into realities. It's the ability to maintain action regardless of your feelings, to press on even when you feel like quitting. This persistence is what separates the doers from the dreamers, the realized dreams from the fleeting thoughts. Take the story of a young man who had a dream to revolutionize personal computing. His journey was fraught with challenges, failures, and setbacks. He was ousted from the very company he founded. Yet, he persisted, continued to innovate, and eventually returned to lead that company to become one of the most valuable in the world. This man, Steve Jobs, exemplified persistence. His story teaches us that success isn't a straight line, but a winding path with peaks and valleys. Or consider the journey of a woman who, living in near poverty, wrote a book that she believed in with all her heart. She faced rejection after rejection from publishers. Yet, she persisted. Today, J.K. Rowling and her Harry Potter series have enchanted millions worldwide, reminding us that the magic of persistence can turn the most humble beginnings into tales of success that inspire generations. So, how can we cultivate this indispensable trait of persistence? How can we keep pushing forward when everything in us wants to give up? First, always remember your why. Your why is the powerful reason behind your goals. It's the fuel for your persistence engine. When you're clear about why you're doing what you're doing, the how becomes more manageable. In moments of doubt or difficulty, remind yourself of your why. Let it be the light that guides you through the darkness of discouragement. Second, set small, achievable goals. Progress, no matter how small, is progress. Celebrate every step forward, every minor victory. These small wins accumulate and build momentum, making the journey less daunting and more manageable. Third, embrace setbacks as learning opportunities. Each setback is a lesson in disguise, teaching us invaluable insights we wouldn't have gained otherwise. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Use this knowledge to adjust your approach and strategies, making you more resilient and better equipped for future challenges. Fourth, find a support system. Surround yourself with people who believe in you, who support your dreams, and who can offer encouragement when you need it most. Just as a single twig breaks easily but a bundle of twigs is strong, a support system can provide the strength you need to persist. Lastly, practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself during the journey. Understand that being persistent doesn't mean being perfect. Allow yourself grace in moments of failure or doubt. Remember, persistence is not just about how hard you push through obstacles, but also about how gently you guide yourself through the emotional landscape of pursuing your dreams. Let us all embrace persistence as our most trusted companion on the journey toward our goals. It's the persistence in the face of obstacles, the refusal to give up despite the odds, that truly shapes our destinies. Remember the stories of those who came before us, whose persistence in the face of adversity has left an indelible mark on the world. When the path seems insurmountable, when the night seems darkest, hold fast to your dreams with unwavering persistence. For it is in these moments, in the relentless pursuit of our goals, that we find not only success, but also the true measure of our strength and character. Let persistence be your beacon, guiding you to the shores of your most cherished dreams. I want you to pause and reflect on the ground we've covered, the stories we've shared, and the insights we've unearthed together. We embarked on a voyage not across the seas, but within the vast expanse of our potential, exploring territories marked impossible on conventional maps. We commenced with the cornerstone of all achievement, the mindset of possibility. 
like the artists, inventors, and visionaries before us, we recognize that the first step towards making the impossible possible lies in believing it can be done. The stories of individuals who changed the world by simply changing their thoughts served as our beacon, illuminating the path from dreams to reality. Then, we delved into the discipline of action. We understood that dreams, no matter how vivid, demand the currency of hard work to be realized. Like Michelangelo, who saw the angel in the marble and carved until he set him free, we learned that our masterpieces await us too, demanding nothing but disciplined effort and dedication. Our journey took us through the valleys of failure, a landscape that many fear to tread. Yet, through the tales of those who fell only to rise higher, we discovered that failure is not the opposite of success, but a part of its very fabric. It's in the crucible of setbacks that our true strength is forged. And as we climbed the peaks, persistence was our constant companion. It whispered in our ears when the winds howled, telling us to take one more step, reminding us of the power of enduring through storms. Like the determined spirits who persisted through rejection, doubt and hardship, we found that the essence of achieving the impossible lies in never giving up. Now, as we stand on the brink of tomorrow, I call upon you to act as if nothing is impossible. Let the stories of persistence in the face of adversity, the tales of discipline overcoming doubt, and the examples of mindsets shifting realities fuel your journey. From this moment on, start with small steps today towards your most ambitious goals. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. But it's the courage to take that step that defines a hero. A simple yet profound truth that has the power to transform the impossible into the inevitable. The only limits that exist are the ones you place upon yourself. As you step out into the world armed with the knowledge that you are the architect of your destiny, let this truth guide your every decision, your every action. The stories we cherish, the legends we admire, and the tales that inspire us, are not of those who accepted the world as it is, but of those who dared to envision it as it could be. They are the stories of individuals who acted as if nothing was impossible. And now, it's your turn. Go forth and write your story, not with ink, but with actions, not on paper, but on the canvas of life. May your story be a beacon for those who come after you, a testament to the indomitable human spirit that thrives in each of us, waiting for the moment we decide to unleash it.